Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a VDI image of a virtual machine into Oracle VirtualBox. The first step is to start the Oracle VirtualBox Manager, so I'm going to do that now. Great. The next step is to identify the default machine folder that the Oracle VirtualBox Manager uses. And to do that, we select from the menu bar File and then Preferences. And under the General tab, you shall see the default machine folder. So you must identify your settings. In my case, the default machine folder is on D colon backslash VirtualBox VMs. Great. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back to the Windows Explorer. I'm going to select my VDI image. Um, in my case, a Ubuntu virtual machine. I'm going to right click, having selected, and then select Copy. Great. I'm now going to go to my default machine folder, which is in D colon backslash VirtualBox VMs, and then go inside it, and then right click and select Paste. Great. So it's copying it now to my default machine folder. OK, that's complete. The next step is to go back to the Oracle VirtualBox Manager and then create a new virtual machine. And to do that, simply select the new symbol here, the new icon. Then we're going to type the name of the virtual machine. In my case, it's Ubuntu 18.04. The type is Linux, that's fine. And the version is Ubuntu 64-bit, that's fine. So I'm going to select Next. Um, memory size, a minimum that you should assign, in my uh, opinion, is 4 gigabytes. Um, as you can see here, but I have plenty of RAM to spare, so I'm going to actually assign 8 gigabytes. There we go. Um, I'm going to choose Next. Now, this is the most important step. Normally, you would create a virtual hard disk now, but in our case, we're going to choose to use an existing virtual hard disk, i.e. we're going to use our existing VDI image. Great, so I've selected that option, and then we simply press the down arrow and nothing's available, so we select the icon here to open up the to choose a virtual hard disk file. So I've clicked on that and it automatically opened up in my VirtualBox, default VirtualBox image folder. Great. So I now select the VDI image, which I just copied over a few moments ago and select open. Perfect. And then click create. And that's it. Done. Before you boot your virtual machine, I have one more suggestion, and that is to view the settings, your virtual machine settings for this virtual uh, Ubuntu machine. So to do that, first select it, in my case is only one, and then select the settings icon. Perfect. And my advice is to check two or three settings. The first is to select the system tab and verify that you've given it sufficient memory, which I already have. Eight gig is more than sufficient. Great. The second, uh, option I'd recommend you check is to make sure you've given it enough processors. Now I've got 12 CPUs, so I've got plenty to spare, so I'm going to give my virtual machine image um, access to two virtual CPUs. That way it'll run faster. Why not? And then lastly and most important is to ensure that you assign enough video memory to your virtual machine. Now in my opinion 16 meg is very very little. It'll probably crawl. You'll find your virtual machine run very slowly. Again I've got plenty, in fact it says 128 meg, I've actually got 4 gig of graphics memory so I've plenty to spare so I'm going to give it all the way to 128 meg because I can spare it. Maybe you can so you might give it 64. I'd recommend a minimum of 64. 64 um, megabytes. And I'm going to select OK. Great. And now to simply run your virtual machine, select Start. But that's all I was showing you in this video. Um, did you like this video? Sir, I heard it was the best, sir. Oh, why, thank you. Well, in that case, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. That's the best way to send me feedback to continue making more great content. Thank you very much.